Someone somewhere made a huge mistake and now we know about a bunch of products in advance. Let's talk about that. <music> Greetings owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. Something interesting has occurred. A mistake was made and information about upcoming magic products was posted to a German website. So we have a sneak peek at a bunch of new products way, way in advance, which is pretty cool. So let's, let's take a look now. We don't know 100% if this is actually authenticated information, but at the same time, it went up real quick, got taken down real quick, and it sure looks authentic. It certainly sounds like something wizards would do. So let's go through this and see what we've got coming all the way down in the July, August timeframe. So starting out with Signature Spellbook Jace is a spiritual descendant of the From the Vault series with a peculiarity. Each signature spellbook is built around a planeswalker and its main spells. Jace Beleren has just regained his memory on Ixalan and a lot and a lot of tricks up his sleeve. I assume there's translation errors. Each signature spellbook will contain a premium card and eight cards that match the identity of the planeswalker. The suggested retail price will be $20 in the US and this will be coming out on June the 15th. Now this is hilarious. It's a spiritual descendant of From the Vault. $20 they're gonna charge you for nine magic cards. They're really trying to weigh in on the secondary market now. Look at this, that's interesting. So this is supposed to be a set of these, right? I, I assume there are multiple signature spell books and there'll be one for each planeswalker. I don't know for sure, that's my guess. Moving on, what do we have next? Battle Bond. It's a completely new booster variant, specially tailored to Two-Headed Giant and Limited. It will be published on June 8th. Yes, you have read correctly. Uh, I mean, that, that doesn't necessarily mean anything super special in terms of specifically tailored to Two-Headed Giant. A lot of packs that they create boosters are tailored to Limited. So just adding in the Two-Headed Giant, for me, I'm curious, but not overly, overly excited. Now, the next line here is what makes me think that this is more likely to legit. Look at this. This is best explained by our product architect, Gavin. So this is an article they have slated. This information is supposed to come out far, far down the road, right? They probably wanted to wait months to release this. What's next on the list? Commander fans can look forward to two great products this year. Good Lord, they are pushing out as much as they can, guys. The Commander Anthology Volume 2 will be released on June 8th of 2018. The box at, wow, June 8th is Battle Bond. Commander Anthology 2, a week later is Signature Spellbooks. Wow, okay. This box that contains, just like the previous Commander Anthology, four previously published decks of 100 cards each, including 13 premium commanders. Wait, what? Four, four decks that include 13 premium commanders. You can't divide 13 by four. So does one deck have an extra, what? Uh, it's, that's probably 12. You know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna correct this now for my own sanity and say that's 12 premium commanders. Jesus. Then with Commander 2018 edition, we will release more new commander covers. Commander covers? The publication is scheduled for the 10th of August 2018. There will be four new decks with 12 premium commanders. Okay, there we go. So the previous line that said 13 was incorrect. We will release more new commander covers. That's probably another translation thing. Probably commander decks. Uh, and finally, we want to try something new with a pair of new Planeswalker decks designed specifically for the Chinese market. Now, how do you do that? What's the difference between designing a Magic card for a Chinese market and an American market? That actually is a genuinely interesting question. The decks will contain new Planeswalkers designed specifically for the Chinese market. Don't worry, there will also be a similar English version of the same product for all players outside of China. Similar, not identical. Interesting. Does that mean that the Chinese will be getting functionally different magic cards? And how does that work if I was to go and get a Chinese version and play it in an American tournament? Hmm. All right, well, this poses some interesting questions. Uh, one of which is, what the hell is Wizards thinking? Jesus Christ. They are cramming out a lot of products in a short window of time. They There's a feeling of desperation almost with what they're doing, I will say. But either way, so what do we have coming? Signature spell books. Nine card from the vault ripoffs. Battle Bond, probably lame boosters. People aren't going to give that much of a good goddamn boat. Two headed giant booster packs. I mean, you did draft oriented special ones with conspiracy, and how well did that do? So, eh, who cares? Commander Anthology Volume 2, that'll be a decent one. Give you access to some older commander decks depending on what they pick. 
Uh, Commander 2018, I mean, the Commander decks, generally, even though they are getting laser, only making four year instead of five, they do tend to be a reasonable product, aside from print quality issues. So, that is a sneak peek window into this. I'm genuinely curious about these Planeswalkers that are going to be designed specifically for the Chinese. So, we will see how that goes going forwards. Thanks for coming by and checking out this little news update. And we'll see you next time. And together, we are the sixth color of magic. Woohoo!